What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use linear approximation. Uh, this thing shows up in a lot of tests, but um, people never really cover it. It's often overlooked, and uh, so people get wrong points for it on the test. But today, I'm going to show you how to get the correct points uh, through this tutorial. So, what is it? Well, it's just an approximation method using a value on the tangent line of the function. So here's the equation you have to remember uh, or memorize. Um, L of x equals f of a plus f prime a times x minus a. And a is the point of tangency and uh, f is the Lagrange notation uh, for the derivative. You might see dy dx differentials but that just means the same thing so um here's where a touches the curve but you're not trying to approximate a you already know a uh you're trying to approximate something on the red line that's not on the green line so you can see as we get closer to a uh the two lines their approximation is closer but if we get farther along the error gets bigger so let's do some problems. Given f of x equals 3 cosine times x e to the x, find the equation only uh, at a equals 1. So pause the video, I'll give you a few seconds to do that. Alright, now here's what we do. Remember that the formula is f a plus f prime a times x minus a. So if we know this, let's just substitute uh, a for 1. And then we get a for 1. So it becomes uh, l of x equals uh, f of 1 plus f prime of 1 plus x, I mean times x minus 1. So that is the f general format you need to know. And then uh, what we want to do is we just want to find f of 1 here. Uh, so let's do that. This is going to be super easy. So f of 1 equals 3 cosine 1 e to the 1. So that is uh, f of 1 there. And that just equals 3 cosine e so that's pretty simple now we gotta do f prime of one which is a little bit more involved but let's do that because uh so f prime of one equals okay let's see what we can do here so three stays the same and then we have to apply uh chain rule here. So 3 times derivative of cosine is negative sine with x e x and then times the derivative of the g function which is x e x and that through the product rule is x e to the x times x plus one so um all right so that's that's kind of what's going on here let's rearrange this uh but let's bring out the negative in front e to the x x plus one sine x e to the x so there we go um that is the first derivative of this function here now let's substitute that in for one so that just becomes um negative three e times two sine of e 
so that just becomes negative 6 e um, sine e. Um, hopefully that made sense. If not, um, I might do a derivative solving video later on. Um, but that is it for f of one. Uh, so let let's solve the final equation I hear. Uh, or not solve, just formulate it. Um, L x equals f of one, which is three cosine e. plus, or I guess minus, just erase this, there we go, um, minus 6 e sine of e, and then multiply by x, minus e and that is the solution right here all right so now let's do a more evolved problem because this one requires some of uh, personal choices for you to make uh, especially when we uh, when it just gives you this vague problem approximate the value of the natural log of pi so how do we do this well, uh, we can choose a point of tangency, aka, that is very close to pi. So, what works well with, um, what, what's very close to pi and works out with the natural log? That's right. We set A to E, because 2.71 is pretty close to 3.14. So, um, it's not going to be exact. Obviously, it's just an approximation, but uh, E will work for this purposes. So let's just plug in, use the formula again. Um, remember, let's write this down again somewhere. Okay, so it's, we, you're going to use E for this. So L of X equals F. E plus F E So there's the formula. So F of E, that's going to be easy because this F and L uh, natural log of E is 1 plus F prime of E, okay, let's do it again. Um, F prime of E equals what's the derivative of the natural log? That's right, 1 over x. And then this will just become 1 over E. So now this just becomes one over e uh, uh, x minus e. Okay, so now we have this lx here, but that's not pi. We still need pi. So how do we know what pi is? Because this is just an equation. There's still variables. Well, simple. We substitute pi in for x. And then L of pi, aka our actual approximation, this will get you a real value um, is 1 plus pi minus E over E. I'm not sure if that, that probably can't be simplified anymore, but that is the answer. Not really the best approximation but I mean it's better than C the natural log of pi but uh, that will 
uh, get to uh, approximation if we draw this um if you remember natural log is kind of like like that so essentially at e here we're drawing a tangent line and then somewhere along the tangent line you'll get approximation but anyways guys that is it for today's video um hopefully now you know linear approximation better but uh i'll see you in the next one